so with the application uh, on a very high level application uh, details let's look at the network connectivity in terms of networking connectivity again the roadmap which i mentioned and whatever you're learning how you can take it to the next level and success stories of others what they have done so that you can do that's also coming shortly so uh, from in terms of network connectivity as i said you have a concept of vcn if you're coming from aws background it's vpc virtual private cloud if you're coming from a microsoft background or azure then it's a virtual network vnet and so on so vcn will give you an a uh, set of ip addresses continuous block of ip addresses you break it down to smaller networks called subnets so whatever is the bigger network here with number 16 you have now smaller network with number 24 side 24 we call subnet you might want to you define that subnet could be private or public private means only within that network can connect or only from a private ips you can connect and i'm going to deploy for security reasons i'm going to deploy my database or virtual machines here then you create another network maybe you want to define the public subnet because you want to you want applications running on this over the internet or something else i'm just giving an example here now i'm deploying maybe a load balancer so my windows machines or linux machines it doesn't need to be public subnet they can be on all in private subnet and there are ways to access them but you deploy them in the subnet then you open appropriate ports by default everything is blocked in cloud so there's a concept of called security list or network security group which is nothing but different ways of firewall one security list or network security group as firewall you open the firewall you drill the hole and say port number 22 is allowed but only from here to here or port 15 21 database port is allowed from only from here to here no one else can access these these two ports only someone here in this network can access but my load balancers or my windows machines or linux machines are leaning on listening on these ports i've opened drilled or opened a firewall port on these from public subnet here now i want these to be accessible over the internet in that case i'll need a gateway called internet gateway so that internet gateway can connect and then def definitely there's a concept of route tables or route tables we'll be talking about that so you you define the routing so that internet gateway can talk now this is for internet but in typical deployments you may not allow it from internet you might want to open it from your on-premise and in on-premise you will be deploying something called a dynamic routing gateway drg and that's where you have two options you have site to site vpn or you can have fast connect which is your uh, I, which is your uh, dedicated pipe for better bandwidth uh, provision bandwidth then all these machines may want to you can say hey i don't want to connect these machines over internet but i want these machines to be patched i want these machines to be configured with backup and restore and that is where these will go into object storage or my yum repository and that connects through service gateway which is here this routing gateway service gateway so guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you have some doubts and queries, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on how to become Oracle Cloud Architect for certification and higher paying jobs. So in this interactive session, we will be discussing about why you must learn Oracle Cloud, OSA architecture, network connectivity and core services, our eight week roadmap, plus 30 plus hands-on labs to go from complete beginner to the expert level. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash OCI02. You'll be seeing this kind of page. Just click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link. All you have to do is just save this link, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.